In this presentation, we'll look at currencies. A company will be using different currencies when dealing with its vendors and customers, especially if they are in based in foreign countries. Hence, it's important to maintain exchange rate types in the system. You can maintain a base exchange rate. For example, if your, if your company's primary currency is USD, then you can maintain your base exchange rates from USD to Euro, USD to AUD, USD to INR, or multiple different currencies. There are different types of exchange rate types available in the system. The most commonly and widely used one is the average rate. It's denoted by the letter M. You also have something called historical rates, which again rarely used, and also the buying rate and the selling rates with different numbers, that's different IDs, G and B. G for buying rate and B for selling rate. But then again, most of the time we'll be using M. Now to give an example, you can have a historical rate, one EUR is equal to 1.30 USD. You can also put your bank buying and bank selling rates for this particular currency. One EUR is equal to 1.10. Bank selling rate, one EUR is equal to 1.20. Generally, the average rate is calculated as the average between the buying rate and the selling rate. So in this example, it's 110 USD, 120 USD for one EUR. The average rate is going to be one EUR is equal to 1.15 USD, which is the middle between the buying rate and the selling rate. Now you usually get the exchange rate spread or the exchange rate average rates from your foreign exchange rate uh, from your central bank or you might have a different source like Bloomberg or any other different type of forex sites where you will get the list of all the exchange rates most commonly used within your organization when dealing with your foreign vendors and customers. You don't have to upload all the different type of exchange rates available in the, um, in the exchange given by your central bank, you can only use the one which you want to frequently use. Now let's look at the currency settings in the system. You come to the SPR menu part and you click on SAP NetWeaver, then come to general settings and then come to currencies. Now here you can see multiple different type of transactions available. Let's briefly look at them. Check currency codes. These are the default currency codes assigned in the system. You do not have to do any changes, but I'll just simply show you. You can see the different type of currencies, like for example, United Arab Emirates is using AED and Australian dollar is using AUD. These are all the standard ones available throughout the world. So whatever those countries currencies are specified over here. Don't have to make any changes, you can just simply view that. Please do not make any changes over here because this will apply to all the other users in the system as well. Then also the decimal places for currencies, you can set that as well. But by default, it's already been set for you in the system, two decimal places for general currencies. Then you can see define standard quotation for exchange rates. So for example, from AUD to Canadian dollars, it's direct quotation. And sometimes you might see something called indirect quotation. Um, we'll look at indirect and direct quotation later. What happens is, let's say for example, if you're using one USD to one MIR, that is direct quotation. So you can specify one US dollars is equal to four MIR. Then you also have the option called indirect quotation where you could specify from MIR to USD. So 0.25 MIR is equal to one USD. So those are the options, but do not make any changes. Again, these are all maintained by the system. So you do not have to add anything over here. Unless you are used in a country which is not specified over here, then you can specify your currencies. So all the frequent currencies that your country is going to use, let's say your country is not specified over here, then you can put the different type of currencies that you're going to use and specify direct quotation. Let's say if you're in a country which is not specified, like for example, like South Africa is not here, you can specify the South African currency over here and then specify your base currency if it's USD and then you can specify the information as direct quotation. Just simply have to specify direct quotation for all the different type of currencies your country is going to use. Then let's look at check exchange rate types. Let's click on that over here. And by default, you can see the B, which is specified as the bank selling rate. You'll also find G, the bank, um, here it is, bank buying rate. M is the standard average rate. And P is for planning rates also. But okay, you can see there's also others created by um, other users in the system. You can just simply use M, because that's the default one for it by the system, and keep it as it is. 
let's look at define translation ratios for currency translation again don't make any changes over here what this says is that when you are specifying your currencies you are giving this one to one ratio that is by default don't have to worry about that you only have to do any changes over here when you're using a currency which is in a very large number value like the zimbabwean uh, dollar or the indonesian rupee which goes into hundreds of thousands of uh, numbers so then in that case only you'll have to specify that otherwise you can just leave it as it is no need to do any changes over here again if your country's currency is not specified in this table please specify the exchange rate for example m then put from your currency like um, if it's not specified like this eu or usd like that you can put your currency over here to usd and specify ratio as one to one easiest way is to copy some existing one over here but make sure that you use the m this is all giving different exchange rate types you need to use m which is a, the median rate and then specify as one to one you can see some currencies like the indonesian rupee they are specified as one to 100 then let's enter the exchange rate this is for the transaction i use so when you enter the exchange rates over here you need to specify your exchange rate type the valid from which date valid from indirect quote or direct quote and then you can specify from which currency to which currency so in this example what this says is one eur is equal to 0 0.94 usd that's how it shows over here and you can see the decimal places and the commas are a bit different that based on your user profile i'll show you how we can change that so we go to system over here go to user profile and then select user data and then you can go and do the changes over here for example the decimal notation you can see you can change it to one comma numbers numbers and the last two decimals you can show it as a dot over here so that will be the normal format date format date date month month year year we can leave it as it is and you can see time format also you can change what time format you want let's say for example do you want to show it as 1205 in a 12 hour format like this you can show it like this or you can have a 24 hour format as well time zone also you can change in whichever country you want you can specify the time zone as well so once you change your decimal place in a user profile save the transaction then log out of the system and log in back again and you will see now it's been updated to the correct format like shown over here now let's maintain an exchange rate so i'm going to by select clicking on new entries over here and exchange rate i'm going to specify m over here okay valid from which date i'm going to say valid from um let's say let's put the beginning of uh, the year 2000 let's put like that or you can put the last date of the year also of the particular month usually you put uh, every month end of the month so i'm going to put 0101.2020 okay let's put like 2020 and i'm going to say from eur one euro to uh dollar us dollar over here usd so i can specify how many euro is equal to a dollar so let me do that so i'll say one euro is equal to 1.10 us dollar that's what it means over here and let's say i'm going to put another month that is from the till the month of january you can put like that and let's say for the month of february i can specify a different date 29 dot zero two dot two thousand twenty i can say one eur is equal to one point one two usd like that so what this means is till the month of till the date of 31st of january this is the currency rate will be used and from the next first of february till 29th of february the currency rate used will be 1 EUR is equal to 1.12 USD. So that's how these rates are maintained. You can, you can automatically the one will be applied over here. So you can easily see it now. 1 EUR is equal to 1.10 USD for the month of January. For the month of February, 1 EUR is equal to 1.12 USD. So like this, please go and maintain the other exchange rate currencies applicable for your organization. If you're dealing with multiple currencies, you can specify that. 
usually end of the month your financial accountants will be uploading the latest exchange rates used for your organization in this presentation we briefly looked at how we can maintain different type of exchange rates and also ensure that your currency is available in the exchange rate table if you are in a country where your currency is not listed in the default SAP tables, then please add that currency in and also add the necessary ratios like one to one, which we saw earlier. Then please proceed to maintain the exchange rate. You can look at some hard currencies today with your country's currency, look at the exchange rate and then update that in the table. Make sure you use the exchange rate type M for that.